they were just going to keep it 100. I'm not doing no more free headaches. I mean, anybody looking for me that want to do business with me, it's going to cost you. And just for the record, with Kodak Black, I never took a dime from that kid. He never gave me a penny. Uh, all I did was went in my pocket and spent money. I gave him advice, whether he listened or not, that's on him. That's his business. I flew him and his homeboys out. I went to the government, got him cleared. And I told him, I said, man, you got this attorney. That's a crook. I mean, Rick Ross talking about him. You need to check it. You know, he said, well, big dog, get my paperwork. And I, he said, call him. I called him. He never called me back. I said, man, I'm going to help you if your attorney don't want to show me the paperwork. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. His criminal attorney ends up being 100. But a lot of these guys in this music industry, they say they want help, but they really don't. A lot of these guys be throwing up 50, 100 racks on social media and talk about the community. But when I give, I give from my heart. I don't ask nobody for nothing. The real Kodak story should be how much have Theodore Saddamai made off of him for the last couple of years.